Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction adventure film, Aksha. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. The film starts with the new CEO of Mirando Corp, Lucy, giving a speech and telling the crowd how she's reclaiming the space that the former rotten CEO used to manage in the past. Lucy promises that she's different from her family. Lucy introduces a so-called miracle to the crowd as they take pictures of the large screen behind Lucy. The screen shows a super piglet on the screen. Scientists have been raising the super piglet as they observed and performed various studies on the creature. Since then, the Mirando Corp has successfully reproduced 26 miracle piglets. Lucy claims it will become a revolution in the livestock industry. She proceeds to announce a contest to raise the biggest and best super pig ever. She explains the mechanics until one old lady asks her how long they would wait for the super pig. Lucy answers that everyone will have to wait for 10 years. 10 years later, somewhere far from New York, in the mountains of Seoul, Korea, a girl is seen blowing a dandelion as a super pig as big as an elephant shows up behind her. The little girl named Mija and her super pig Ocha do their usual routines such as eating fruits, drinking water, and getting fish from the pond. The kind of bond between the two is no other kind. Oksha is no pet but is instead a family to Mija. Mija's grandpa looks for her as it's already time to eat. On their way home, they take a shortcut when Oksha hesitates to continue walking as it's a dangerous path. Mija ties a rope on her and Oksha, but she unfortunately slips, making her almost fall off the cliff. Luckily, there's a rope that connects the Mija to Oksha, which prevents Mija from falling. Oksha struggles to keep her safe until she sees a branch where she can safely stay. Oksha takes that opportunity to save Mija and sacrifice herself. Oksha falls down the cliff. Later on, Mija looks for Oksha, where the two embrace and joy as Oksha is found safe. Proceeding with their dinner, Grandpa and Mija talk about a Mirando manager who will come visit Okja tomorrow. Grandpa seems to be hiding something from Mija as he keeps on avoiding Mija's question. Mija wants to buy Okja, to which Grandpa responds that Okja is already theirs as they have finally paid for Okja. There it shows a certificate, revealing that the Grandpa is one of the local farmers that Mirando chose to be a candidate on their super pig project, with pictures of Mija and Okja together when Okja was still a piglet. In the middle of the night, Mija heads outside to sleep beside Oksha and the two cuddle. The next day, the manager comes while Mija maintains Oksha's dental hygiene. He asks her to take out the black box from Oksha's ear. He connects the black box to his laptop, which shows how Mirando tracks Oksha's data. A team of strangers suddenly appear with tiredness evident on their faces. One of them is the face of Mirando Corporation, who came to shoot content for Mirando's Super Pig project. The man mentions that Okja will be going to New York in English, which Mija couldn't understand anything. Mija gets confused but is distracted by him, whom she recognizes from the TV, so she asks for an autograph instead. Later on, Grandpa takes Mija to her parents' grave. There, Grandpa gives Mija a small golden pig made out of real gold, which perplexes Mija. Grandpa later admits that he cannot buy Okja, as Mirando didn't let him buy Okja, so he bought Mija a golden pig instead. The competition is nearly over, so the Mirando is taking all 26 super pigs back. Grandpa also reveals that Okja was selected as the best pig, so she will be spending the night in Seoul's office before flying to America the next day. Mija isn't happy with the news as Okja is her best friend. Mija gets angry and runs away, hoping to still catch up with the team that took away Okja. But she's too late as Okja is already nowhere to be seen. Later that night, as Grandpa prepares for their dinner, Mija returns home. She changes her clothes as she's heading somewhere else. Mija tells Grandpa she's going to Seoul to take Okja back. She breaks her piggy bank to bring money. She also includes the golden pig in her belt bag. Grandpa tries to stop her, saying that it's Okja's inevitable fate to be killed and eaten and that she should just accept it. But Mija doesn't listen and still continues with her mission to save Okja. She takes a subway to travel until she finally reaches Mirando's office in Seoul. She knocks on a glass door, but a receptionist ignores her. Mija uses the phone hanging by the door to ask for the manager, but the receptionist doesn't listen. She instead calls for security to send someone to escort Mija out. As Mija sees the receptionist leaves her, she breaks down the glass door by kicking it. After that, Mija runs through the building with the hopes of finding the manager, while a security guard and the receptionist try to chase her. As the running and chasing continues, Mija hears a familiar sound, so she runs to the window. She spots Oksha being forcefully loaded inside the truck by Mirando's men. The manager grabs a chance for a selfie with Oksha, which clearly isn't right as Oksha is suffering. The manager gets into the truck's passenger seat with a young driver, who obviously doesn't like his job. As the truck starts moving, Mija comes up close behind, since she's fast enough to get out of the building. 
Surprisingly, she catches up with the pace of the truck and timely climbs up on top of the truck where Ocha can hear her voice. Ocha makes a loud noise after hearing Midge's voice. Midge struggles to stay on the truck as it moves. Suddenly, another truck appears and drives alongside the truck where Midge is on. The driver and the passenger on the second truck are wearing a mask, covering their faces. The second truck tries to communicate with the manager and the driver, saying they should oblige to their demand to stop the car. The manager is confused as he cannot understand why they should stop in the first place. He forces the driver to drive forward. Leaving them with no choice, the second truck crashes the side of Mirando's truck to stop it, which leads to Mija getting off of the truck. People with black masks exit the second truck and open the doors of the truck where Oksha is to take her out of the chains. They succeed in taking Oksha out of the truck, but then she goes rampant as the people in masks try to calm her down. Mija calls Oksha, trying to get her attention. Since Oksha knows her owner's voice, they reunite and escape together. The manager can't just leave them alone, so he asks his men to chase after them. Mijin leads the way for Oksha, who's also not used to the environment in the city. This leads them both to the shopping mall, causing a commotion, as the people witness a super pig Oksha and a child running with it. They are trapped inside the mall, and the police are almost catching up with them. But the mask crew steps in and protects Mija and Oksha from those who were trying to separate them. They escape and get inside the truck owned by the masked people. They introduce themselves as the Animal Liberation Front, who are animal lovers that try to rescue animals from any kind of cruelty. They ask Kay, one of their members, to translate for them so that Mija would understand them. As they converse, Jay, the leader, reveals that everything the Mirando has been telling them is a lie. Oksha was not naturally born, she was created inside a lab. They want to permanently shut down the Mirando Super Pig Project. They ask Midget to allow them to use Oksha to serve as a hidden camera, where they can get footage of the ruthless things occurring inside the laboratory of the Mirando Corp. It's the only way they can expose Mirando in public and save millions of super pigs. But in order to do that, they have to surrender Oksha first to the authorities. They also promise to bring her back to Mija after that. Jay asks consent from Mija, but also says that he will also accept if Mija ever refuses, as he knows Oksha would risk suffering. Mija refuses to let them use Oksha, but Kay, the translator, lies and tells the brute that Mija agrees. As the group believes the mistranslation of Kay, they all proceed jumping out of the truck and to the water by the bridge to escape from the police. Mija gets confused as to why they are leaving her alone when she has already told them she wants to bring Oksha back to the mountains. The only words left by Jay are to see her soon in New York before fully abandoning Mija and Oksha in the truck as the police arrive to take the two. Oksha and Mija part ways as the authorities separate them. Oksha gets sent to America, and Mija goes back to her home in South Korea. The whole commotion in Seoul about Oksha makes it to the news, reaching Mirando's office in New York. Lucy worries that the image of the Mirando Corp that she's been building will be tarnished, because the public may think that they're cruel for separating the little girl from her Oksha. Lucy demands her team to make Oksha and Mija reunite in New York on her Super Pig project, so that the public will be fooled once again when it's all just a marketing campaign for Mirando's project. Mija is on the way to New York on a plane, as everything is already prepared for her. Mija no longer trusts anyone, but she only wants to talk to Oksha on the phone to confirm if she's okay. The Liberation Front, however, tracks the camera that's placed on Oksha's black box as Oksha is already walking inside Mirando's lab. They watch as in horror as they see the doctor forcefully making Oksha mate with another super pig. They hear Oksha crying as she suffers in pain. The girl from the Liberation Front exclaims that they shouldn't have sent Oksha back to Mirando. The other members tell her to be brave, as Mija entrusted them to continue this mission. At that time, Kay could no longer resist the guilt and admits that he had lied to them. Mija never agreed to the mission, but he didn't want to stop the mission, so he lied to them. Jay gets enraged upon hearing this, so he punches Kay. Kay gets kicked out of the organization for his wrongdoing. The doctor uses a device on Oksha that can extract meat from animals without killing them. He makes people taste test sausage-sized meat from Oksha, which they end up loving. Fast forward to the New York show, Mirando's staff prepares Mija as she will be seen in public. As Mija walks into the room to change clothes, she meets Jay, who is in disguise, trying to communicate with her through papers with written translations. Jay apologizes and tells Mija that they will free Oksha during the ceremony so that they can come back home together. Jay then exits the room as the other members of the organization move to their respective positions. The ceremony starts with the doctor as the host and introduces Lucy who delivers her small speech before finally introducing Mija. Mija doesn't care about the ceremony as she only wants to see Oksha, so she searches for her from the platform stage. Mija crosses the platform, waiting for Oksha to come out. Mija holds Oksha's favorite fruit. 
Okja finally comes out, but is clearly not acting like herself. Okja cannot recognize Mija as her owner, but Mija does not back down. She tries to calm Okja down, who's already turning wild. Red marks are visible on Okja's body, with her eyes red bloody. Right then, Jay gives a signal to play the footage they recorded from Mirando's lab on the screen, which exposes the truth behind the Mirando's super pit project. The ceremony turns into complete chaos, as the public realizes that Mirando's been lying to them for 10 years. The crowd doesn't agree with the mistreatment of Okja and the other super pigs, so they throw things on the stage. Jay steps onto the stage, trying to protect Mija and prevent her from watching the screen behind. Meanwhile, Nancy, Lucy's sister, and also the previous CEO of the Mirando Corp, witnesses the commotion happening and how the crowd reacted. Their family lawyer suggests Nancy step in and clean her sister's mess, so they contact Mirando's elite security squad to take charge of the commotion that the Liberation Front started. As Ocha turns wild, she suddenly bites Mija, who is trying to get close to her. In order to save Mija from Oksha's bites, Jay runs to hit Oksha, but Mija stops him with her bare hands. She does not give up on trying to calm Oksha down. She whispers something to Oksha, and after that, Oksha lets her go and lick her wounds. Later on, the security squad arrives, forcing everyone and using violence for the Liberation Front to surrender. Jay and his members lead the way in order to rescue Oksha successfully. They get cornered and beaten up by the security squad. It turns out to be a lost case, as each one of Mija's allies is getting beaten down one by one. Oksha and Mija are already on the truck, but the security squad still gets to them. In the end, Mirando still captures Oksha successfully. Luckily, a truck saves a bleeding Jay, who still tries his best to protect Mija. The truck driver, who happens to be Kay, came back for them. On the other hand, Nancy, being the businesswoman that she is, only wants money and demands the super pigs to be put in the production process immediately. Back in the truck scene, they attend medical care for Jay's wounds. They realize they have no other choice but to go to the factory themselves to rescue Oksha. Mija and the two arrive at the factory, where they see thousands of super pigs across the vast land that Mirando owns. Jay protects Mija's innocence from the horrific sight of super pigs, but Mija does not care anymore. She simply just wants to find Oksha and take her home. The three continue to search for Oksha among the super pigs, but it seems impossible to find her as they are too many. Fortunately, Oksha hears Mija's voice, so she responds to her. This helps Mija to spot Oksha. She sees Oksha being forced to get inside the factory, as the rest of the super pigs in line are getting zapped with electricity to force them to walk forward. Mija rushes inside the factory alone, where she witnesses everything done to pigs in production. Dead pigs are all over the place, being hung and divided into large pieces. She sees with her own eyes how a super pig is being killed. As Mija continues to watch in horror, she spots Oksha being placed inside a machine, where the pigs are being killed. She sees that Oksha is the next one to get killed. She then yells and stops the worker, showing a picture of her and Oksha when they were both younger with Oksha as a piglet. J and K arrive, until Nancy and her crew also arrive where Mija is. Nancy gets confused about why Oksha is still alive. Mija asks why she wants Oksha to be killed. Nancy answers that they can only sell pigs when they are dead, not when they are alive. Mija begs Nancy that she wants to go home with Oksha. But Nancy turns that down, as Oksha is still Mirando's property, and giving Oksha for free to Mija will not give her money. Nancy says that it's all about business. Nancy explains to Mija how everything about pigs can produce money, as J and K are being led out by the security squad. After that, Nancy signals to the worker to continue killing Oksha. Mija calls for Nancy's attention just on time, and brings out the golden pig that her grandpa gave her. Mija says that she wants to buy Oksha alive, in exchange for that 100% real golden pig that she has. Nancy, as the businesswoman that only cares about money, obviously agrees to Mija's offer, and sells Oksha alive. It shows the sad truth in the world that money will always be the solution. It also points out the irony of how Oksha and Mija really didn't have to go through all of that problem if they only had given the golden pig in the first place. As Mija and Oksha are being led by guards to exit the factory, they walk past the vast land with super pigs around them. As much as Mija wants to save them all, she can as she doesn't have enough money to buy every single super fat pig. Right then, a baby piglet suddenly gets out of the electric fences, which Oksha hides inside her mouth before the guard can notice. Oksha, Mija, and the piglet successfully leave the factory. The movie ends with Mija and Oksha back in their home, with the new additional piglet to the small family. They are living in peace in the mountains, together with Mija's grandpa, and finally far from any harm, while the Animal Liberation Front is planning their next move to fight against Mirando Corp. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.